Hello everyone, uh, I just recently got back from DEF CON 32. This was the first DEF CON that I have uh, attended. Um, it, was a, it was a fantastic experience to see all <clears throat> the cool stuff there. So I kind of wanted to cover something that me personally I don't have a lot of knowledge in, which is uh, game hacking. Um, there was a challenge that was going on live uh, during the conference um, where you had to, it was the in a style of capture the flag and you had to manipulate the game um, to in order to get the flag. So what we're going to do is we're going to download, if you go to gamehacking.gg, uh, the, the event is over, but you can still play around with it. So they give you the game, uh, gamehackinggg.zip. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to open this. And um, what we're going to do is uh, we have the executable file along with all of the different um, uh, game files along with it. Uh, we're actually going to be needing um, Cheat Engine, and we're going to need uh, also Windows uh, Power Toys, yeah. So, I think we need to run this as administrator, if I open this up. Uh, that's not right. Um... I want to run as administrator. Well, not the. There we go. Yeah. So, let's make sure it's as administrator. Okay. So this is. I want to always run as administrator. Okay. So this basically allows you to have two. Um, when there's a full screen application, it allows you to have a window on top of that. And the way that you toggle the window to be on top is you make sure that it's uh, selected and you do Windows Control T. It's just a tool for us to um, use Cheat Engine with the application. So now we're going to start up uh, Cheat Engine. This is going to run as administrator, I'm pretty sure. And what we're going to do is... Um, start up the game actually so let's uh, first of all let's do Windows control T to make cheat engine on top and then we're going to run this game as <coughs> excuse me as you can see the cheat engine is <coughs> it's on top um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and I'm actually gonna try to this a little bit skinnier yeah so here's the first level um, we our health is at a hundred now we need this gun now when you try to take this gun you're gonna take damage now your health is gonna run out before you can get to um, you're you're not gonna be able to, to uh, take the gun down without you dying first. So let's restart the level. What we're actually going to do is we're going to find where the health is in memory. And so we have a reference. It should be a hundred right now. So what we're going to do is we first need to attach this to the process. So this right here should be the process. And then what we're going to do is we're going to search for uh, 100 and you can do you can search for an exact value or you can do greater than less than or in between or unknown but we know what we're looking for so we're going to do exact value now the value type this is if you know for sure if you know a little bit about the source code or you have some information about uh, the specific variable and what it is so in this case we don't really know I would assume that the health 100 is an integer but at the same time 
we don't know if it is four bytes, if it's a D word, or if it's two bytes, or if it's eight bytes, um, or it could be a float. We we just we just don't know. So we're gonna do all. Now we are going to assume that the health needs to be writable because it needs to change. So it's not going to be a, a, a constant. It's not going to be a const. Um, if you guys are, you know, programmers know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, um, we don't need it to be an executable um, because this is a variable and this is in the code. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna scan through the entire process, and um, yeah, first scan. So we have a lot of results, and it's not very helpful because we don't. There's no. There's absolutely no way to tell which one is our health. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take damage so that our health goes down to ninety, and then we're gonna search. For that. So cheat engine, what we can do is we can change this to 90 and we're going to do a next scan and look at that. We found our health, uh, we found our health in memory um, where it's being stored. See first it's 100 and now the value is 90. So if we double click this we can pin this so what we're going to do, in order to beat this level, we need to be able to take this gun down uh, without dying first. So what we could do, we could change our, our um, we can change this value to whatever we want. So if I want to do 9,999, 9 then that becomes our health. We can also lock this so that we basically have God mode. We cannot die. So if we do this here, I'm not taking any damage. And there's the flag. So that's the first level. And now we have a gun. Um, if you can see here, we have um, ammo. So what we're going to do is go to the next level. Should be down here. And yeah, so now we have a boss and we're not going to be able to beat the boss because we're going to run out of ammo. See, I ran out of ammo, which is a problem and we're going to die. So let's restart the level. And what we can do is we can track down uh, same process as before. This okay, yeah. Our health has actually changed, so let's delete this record because it's a new level. It's going to be a new address in memory. Let's do a new scan and let's search for ten. So we're going to search for ten. An exact value, all writable. Um, okay, let's do our first scan. It's so we found a lot, a lot of tens. Now let's shoot, and now it's nine. So now let's do nine, and we're going to do the next scan. Still not very helpful, that's fine. Let's keep tracking it down. Now it's eight, so we're going to do eight, and we're gonna do next scan. Okay, now we're getting the results are getting shorter. We're getting less results, so we're tracking it down. Shoot again. Now it's seven. Let's search for seven in the next scan. Okay, so now we have... Okay, so these might actually be our health um, down here. Let's be extra sure, and let's go to six. And let's change this to six, and we're gonna do next. Okay, so now we've found where our ammo is. Uh, there's three locations in memory. Uh, first was 10, which is what we start with, and now it's at six. So these three are definitely what we need. Now what we can do 
is we can change these to like we can change it to you know one change this to actually let's change it to 20 and let's change this to 20 and let's change this to 20 and based on our knowledge previously if we lock these we'll have infinite ammo and we'll be able to beat the boss so let's try that you can see the ammo in the bottom right if we start shooting it's locked at 19 so there we go we've beaten that grab the flag and we're gonna go to the next level I think is this the one yeah so this one I'm gonna save for another video but um, yeah this is just a little this is a little introduction to how people um, how people hack games uh, cheat engine is has been around for a long time it's very useful so yeah uh, that's pretty much it